YouTube, it's Curly Ree, and I'm back today to do, give you my best of beauty products for 2016. I kind of want to share with you a wide array of things that I use from my skincare to my makeup, um, my hair products, and even my toothpaste. So let's get started on these things. Um, I've been looking at YouTube and just very excited to see what everyone's 2016 uh, best of beauty products are. So that's my inspiration for my first kickoff video for 2017 as you know I did an introduction video and I'm back on the tube and I'm excited to be back doing what I absolutely love so let's get started okay so as far as um, skincare these are some of my go-to products that I've absolutely fell in love with that I have used for 2016 probably 2015 as well um, usually with me when I find products that I absolutely love that works well um, for my skin type, which is combination, and the, the older I get, I don't know, I'm experiencing some dryness, so, you know, I got to do some wrinkle prevention stuff, so, yeah, these products really have been very, been, given my skin lots of good benefits. So, the first thing that I absolutely love, and I've had this for a couple of years, and this is my Clarisonic, um, I'm sure you're familiar with these, this is my Mia, and this is the Mia 3. Um, so yeah, I use this probably a couple times a week, especially when my skin feels like it's a little bit dry on the dry end. Um, this is really good for exfoliation. So yeah, my Mia is something that I absolutely love. Now, I really stick try to stick to facial cleansers that are gel-based. Um, those really work for me. And the cleanser that I absolutely love um, and I have used is the... And I, I usually have used a wide array of brands, Boshea, um, Fresh, Murad. But I went in Publix one day, and I love going to the clearance section um, here at our Publix because they have some really good deals. They have, like, beauty products and, you know, grocery items. And I found this Neutrogena, and you can see the stickers on there. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Boosters Facial Cleanser with um, white tea and vitamin E and it says that it boosts softness even as in radiance Th these were on clearance there's another sticker right here and that's just horribly horrible and ugly so I turn it this way when it's on my beauty counter because kind of OCD like that but this was actually half of $7.99 it was like three dollars and something and they were like three on the clearance rack so I picked it up I gave one away and I kept the other two and I have reach for this product like every day every evening this is what I actually I use this more in the evening times than I do in the daytime so yeah the healthy skin boosters facial cleanser with the white tea and vitamin E by Neutrogena I've got to find this because as you can see I'm getting close to empty here um but when when I, my splurge cleanser that I, I'll use in the morning times I love the fresh um, soy facial cleanser and I love this product line because the ingredients are really natural um, it's amino acid rich pro proteins that are actually in the products it has rose water that's known for its calming effects so yeah and then the cucumber ast extracts that are found in this particular product so it's fragrance free and, and it's just really an all natural product and it's an extra gentle gel cleanser that's why I love it as well and it works really good with my Clarisonic so yeah this right here is really good for like um, putting healthy nutrients back into your skin without stripping your face and making it feel really dry it's really creamy that's the gel is just really light and it doesn't strip your skin of its natural oils and it makes it it just feels really good so yeah I like the fresh soy facial cleanser now, as far as my moisturizers, I have two different ones that I use for daytime and nighttime. Um, my nighttime cleanser is um, in the Fresh line. This is the Fresh um, Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex. So, this is really good universal day daily moisturizer. Um, and it's supposed to give you 24 hours of moisture. And it really works. This is something that I tried new this year. Um, and I use it says you can use it twice a day day and night but I use this one actually just at night because I have to have an SPF in my daytime um, moisturizer because of the um, where I live here in Southwest Florida so yeah I've used this quite a bit every night 2016 this is really I'm gonna repurchase it it smells it has like a cucumber smell it smells so good this is just really a great recommendation if you're looking for a face free cream um, that puts moisture back into your skin this is really great and you can use it year-round it's not heavy at all it's very light 
And that's what I love. I don't like anything on my face that feels really heavy and just drenched in that drenched like feeling yuck. Where it makes you feel like you want to wash your face again. But no, fresh products are awesome. You can go on Sephora, look at the reviews. Can't go wrong with that line. Now, um, I like the Boshea Self Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Moisturizer. This is what I use. And this lighting is not really that good right here where I am. But yeah, this right here, it provides broad spectrum for you. Um, VA and UVB protection. Hydrates and nourishes the skin to prevent premature signs of aging. So it says to apply this evenly in the morning. And I've gone, this is the second one I have purchased this year. Um, I've purchased this one, I think, like maybe a month or so ago. But yeah, this is definitely a repurchase. I love this particular moisturizer. Um, so yeah, that's my moisturizer that I use for my face. Now, eye creams. I don't know, this year I experienced something I've never experienced ever. And that's like dryness around my eyes. So what I would do is get like these dry, scaly patches on my eye it would be underneath my eye and a little bit above my eye and as I did research it appeared from what I read it seemed like it was some form of eczema and I've never had any type of eczema condition skin conditions but that's what it was behaving like so I stopped using the eye cream that I absolutely love and that was this one here by Origins um the ginseng I stopped using this. It's supposed to be like a brightness. It's really good, but I don't, I'm kind of pushing it to the side. I'm, I have not used this since that problem. It's only I've only had two breakouts. But the eye cream that I researched and the one that works, oh my goodness, so well. It's by Origin still. I really like the Origins eye cream. But this one here is called Eye Doctor. And this one here is a moisture care for sensitive skin around the eyes. And I have to say, since I started using this particular one, I have not had any dryness around my eyes. Um, the radiance has come back. And I absolutely love this particular eye cream. And this is going to be the one that I use um, for a while. So this is my go-to, the Eye Doctor by Origins. All right, so now we're going to move on to the face foundation. Um, I don't know, maybe you've looked at my previous videos, my old videos, but yeah, my go-to foundation has been and still is my Bobbi Brown foundation. Um, this here has the SPF 25 in it. I've tried something new. I tried a Chanel foundation this year, and I still have my NARS Sheer Gold, but this here is the one that works for me. And this is in Golden 6, and again, it has SPF 15. So I love my Bobbi Brown foundation. Um, and also when I'm not, I wear that every day to work, but when I'm not at work on the weekends, I love my NARS Pure Radiant, um, Tinted Moisturizer, and this is an SPF, uh, 30. Yeah, I'm really big on sunscreen, really protects my skin, good, good protection for your skin. You should always have sunscreen to prevent premature, um, aging and just to protect your skin. Um, this one here is in the medium dark one, Malaga. So yeah, this is like, I love this. I, I have it on today. This is what I use on weekends again. That's what I love on the weekends as far as so these two. I use these two pretty much more so than anything else. I love NARS Sheer Glow, and I used that when I was um, living in Georgia, but it does not have the SPF in it. But, you know, it's sunny here year-round. I have to have some type of, um, if it's not in my moisturizer, then I kind of like, I know it doesn't, you know, I've heard reviews where it says if you're, Moisture, your SPF is in your foundation versus being in your moisturizer. You don't get double benefits, but I don't know. I guess it's just a mental thing with me. Um, but yeah, this is the powder that I love. My go-to powder is my Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder. And it's a press powder, but I actually um, use a brush with it. So this is what I actually just get my brush and just use it that way. I don't like sponges or anything like that. But this is in the color Golden Orange 3. And it's really good. I've tried others. I've tried all kinds. I've tried the Laura Mercier um, powder, and it just really didn't do anything for my skin. Keep going back to this. So this is something that I will continue to purchase. This is an actual repurchase for 2016. So, yeah, Bobbi Brown, love that makeup line. They have a wide variety of colors for women of color, and I absolutely love Bobbi Brown. Okay, I'm not really a fan of the makeup, but the foundation and powder, yes. Um... Now, as far as, I um, should have started here, but my primer that I like is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, this really lightweight, doesn't make your skin too, um, oil. it doesn't give it that oily look like some 
skin finishes or primers will do but I like it it's really fresh and I, I don't use it all the time but um pretty much when I have a lot going on from a.m. to p.m. this is where I will put this on so that my makeup can kind of stay put but yeah this is the one that I love I have tried other primers but I, I really like the primer water all right so now as far as my concealer again I am still using my NARS creamy concealer absolutely love this right here it's you know like I said I'm experiencing dryness under my eyes this is creamy it's it does the job it, it covers and this color is in medium dark one and this is biscuit so this is my go-to creamy um, my concealer NARS creamy concealer love 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 all right and of course um, let's see I love my beauty blender this is what I use as far as blending in the concealer and um, if I want to put it in other areas it works as well in other areas so I love the beauty blender that's a staple and the foundation brush that I love is I've tried I have all kinds of foundation brushes I have MAC um, brushes that I absolutely use a lot but when I discovered this brush here it's like nothing else does well I have the airbrush uh, MAC brush but it just kind of the stippling brush it doesn't really blend it all in it just takes too long to get right this here is the urban decay optical blurring foundation brush and I love this it does the job good to go this is it actually it went on sale with Sephora every now and then they have some really cool sales and this brush was I paid like $30 or something for when it was regular price I think I bought it at Ulta at the time but there was a sale with Sephora and they were like $13 so Oh yeah, I've got a couple of those in my stash, so yeah, we'll be using this um, for quite some time. Now, let's move on to, um, let's talk about my brows. As y'all know, or you may not know, I really, I get my brows threaded every now and then, and I really like for them to kind of stay thick. It's almost time again. But I, in the meantime, I have some areas where it's kind of like um, the hair doesn't grow in, I have to fill it in. And so what I use, and I've had this, it seems like this right here, this product lasts forever and ever. Like, I've probably had this over a year, and it's just, it's the consistency, it still does great. This is the Anastasia uh, by Beverly Hills Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Ebony. So, this is what it looks like on the inside, it's just a pot here. The brush that I use to fill in is the Sephora Pro Brow Brush here. And this brush is in, let's see, number 20. See, I use this. It has that slanted um, tip here. If you can see that slanted tip. And you just put it in there and go ahead and fill in your brows. And it gets the job done. I really love it. I like the Anastasia brow products. But yeah, this is absolutely my go-to product. Okay, what else? Um, something new that I have actually started, and we'll move on to eyes, is the little wing eyeliner that you see I've never used wing liner but in 2016 I've always wanted to do it but I'm like I can never do it and then plus I have the hooded eyelid so it makes it kind of difficult to kind of see it and I wear glasses Monday through Friday I do my contacts on the weekends but it really I have really mastered I'm really proud that I actually mastered that it's something I've always wanted to do and it's like my go-to look I don't even use shadow anymore I don't use eyeshadow I have lots of palettes but I don't really use that a lot I just do my wing liner and my mascara and my lips and I'm, I'm out the door but I've tried a couple of the eye liquid liners and that's what I use um, I've tried the um, what is it the Kat Von D ink tattoo liner I tried that one and I've used Stila the one by Stila that um, liquid liner that was my go-to but when I discovered the Sephora brand um, liquid liner this is in 01 black Oh my goodness! This right here—it just if you're if you're new or novice to doing um, wing liners, this brush here—it's really precise, and you could really just kind of learn with this brush. And this is what I started off with here, and I really like the felt tip there, and it's just like doesn't put too much, just enough product on it, and you can really master it. But I really like the Sephora brand liquid liner, and I've tried you know other brands, but yeah, that's what I've been using as far as my eyeliner. Now, moving on to mascara. I love mascara. Um, the one that I love is by Urban Decay. And I've purchased two of these. This is the Perversion um, Bigger, Blacker, and Batter Mascara. So, yeah, this is my go-to everyday mascara that I use. 
All right, so let's move on to powders. Now, I do like blush. Um, most recently, the one that I fall in love with was this one. I think this came out in the Selena collection, if you're familiar with this packaging. I'm not really certain. But this is Sweet Vision. It's the Magic Dust Powder, and I use this as a blush. And it looks pink, really pink and, like, loud, but it goes on really soft, and it has, like, a golden golden type tint to it but yeah this is something I've been grabbing a lot lately um, but my go-to blush that I've had this this is one from the Riri collection um, right here and this is the bad girl gone bad this is my everyday everyday that's kind of a neutral neutral tone blush but yeah this is the one I will use pretty much every day if I'm not using um, the other here the sweet vision um, powder so these are my go-to blush powders. Um, now, everyone knows about Becca um, Jocelyn Hill's um, Shimmer and Skin Pressed Perfector Powder in Champagne Pot. This is, this is just everything. You don't need anything but this. I, I mean, this is the best highlighter ever. I don't, it's totally lit, y'all. Like, this is it right here. I use this, um, not, I don't use it every day, but you know, on the weekends or when I'm going out or just something like that. But yeah, this right here, I love it. Just really highlights your cheek area and it gives it that bright lighting. And I have a little bit on today, if you can see. I, I love that. Love that glow that it gives your skin. All right. Um, so if I decide to put on a little um, eyeshadow, which sometimes I just do a neutral color, but what I really like here is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. This is a little small sample that I had, and I really like it. I have the Urban Decay um, Potion Primer, but this, right, I don't know, with the dry eyes that I've been experiencing, this right here has been something that has just really given me extra moisture and not being too heavy where it, you know, settles in. It doesn't settle into your lines or anything like that. This, I highly recommend this here. All right, now we're going to move on to our lip products. Um, I re recently discovered, and I know I'm late on the game, y'all, but the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, I should have been purchased them. Um, that's what I use pretty much the entire year. I have the MAC Lips, and I love matte formulas, but these right here, I love. Um, I use them every day. I purchased three, but the two that I've been reaching for lately because of the fall season, this one here is, and I like the way the top, the, the MAC, the way it just grabs it like that. This is um, the Kate. This is a newer one, newer shade. It's like a, has a little purple tint. It's really pretty, y'all. This is so pretty for the fall. You can line this with um, cork, just however you want the consistency of the shade to look. But this right here is really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I love Kate. Um, before this one came out though, and my very first one that I purchased was Anna. And this is like a muted dusty rose color. It's pretty for every day. You know, I wear this, I wear the shade to work probably every day. Um, and I do the Kate sometimes, you know, maybe on a Friday. So I kind of keep it professional throughout the week. But yeah, th this is gorgeous y'all, the Anna. Again, this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. And I did purchase my very first Tom Ford lipstick in 2016. And I'm in, you know, I like that color, Anna. This is similar. Um, I'm almost done with this. But yeah, this is called Pussycat. And it's 04. I love Tom Ford lipsticks, guys. These, these lipsticks are pricey. But you, once you buy one, you want to buy more. And the, 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 the formula is just beautiful. Uh, and the packaging on this, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. So yeah, look at the Tom Ford there. TF, cute, 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 and just wonderful. Um, so yeah, I really, those are the lipsticks that I've been loving. Um, and I usually put um, the Anastasia glosses over them um, just a little bit. Because I do like the way, I don't like my lips to be too shiny, just a little bit of gloss. But yeah, I use the Anastasia um, lip um I don't know which color I should have brought them in here, but yeah, the lip glosses that go over that. Just something really compatible to the color and the tone. I have plenty of those. So, I, yeah. But those are my go tos. Those are the ones that I love in 2016, have used the heck out of. And uh, speaking of lip products, especially during this time of the year, I discovered something this year that helps with my lip dryness. Excuse me. And I've tried tons of lip. I'm a lip 
product junkie when it comes to actual making certain that your lips are not dry because I have the driest lips um, ever but I take care of them to prevent them from getting too flaky but this here is the fresh sugar um, lip balm advanced therapy this right here this product right here is life I'm telling you it's the ultimate age to find it helps you put just a little bit on your fingertip just it has a little pump here and you just pump a little bit on your um, fingertip and you put on it at night I kid you not you wake up in the morning and your lips are soft and smooth and plus once you put this on it dries really fast you can actually put a lip balm on top of it and I have um, EOS balms or one of my lush um, butters and I put it on there and I oh my goodness it's really been a keeper for my dry lips um, and when they get a little bit out of control um, and a little bit too dry I've recently discovered this last year and this is a lush um, lip scrub and um, this is the mint juleps kind and it's really cool I really like these handmade products they're really all natural um, so yeah and if it gets a little bit too dry because I found that they do dry out just put a little bit of olive oil in there and it just you just scrub and buff your lips and it takes all the dead skin off. So these are some good lip lip care products that I've really discovered in 2016. And these are my staples go to. I'm going back to Lush. I actually purchased here is the lip balm, and this is in Buttered Brazils. And I have the rose one too. This is actually the second one that I purchased, but the rose one smells so good. And this one here is nice, but I really like the rose one as well okay so we're in 21 minutes let's wrap this up I can continue to talk about these things okay want to talk about my go-to fragrances for 2016 pretty much all I've used is this product candy y'all it's it's really really nice fresh it has oh I get compliments galore love this product and I'm nearing the end of that and I do have the compatible um, candy body lotion that kind came with the set and it also came with this little travel rollerball so I ha I'll be using this when I run out of that but yeah I kind of keep this in my purse just in case I forget to put some on before I leave the house love product candy um, as far as um, evening time I love this here guys this black opium by YSL hot this is hot love this so those are the only two I've been using uh, pretty much um, throughout the year and that product candy that's just been the one that I've been going to now we're going to move on to hair products and wrap this video up um, as far as hair products what I discovered last year pretty much I love the Shea Moisture line I love anything in Shea Moisture their shampoos their treatments their masks their lead-ins really love that but most recently in last year I discovered the cream of nature um, with argan oil, sulfate free, moisture and shine shampoo. This definitely hydrates my hair and it detangles it. Um, oh my goodness, this is something gives your hair shine. So this is a shampoo that I've actually kind of switched, swapped out with, with my Shea Moisture um, shampoos. So this is something that I've kind of, um, that's new for me in 2016. And of course the conditioners here, are the Shea Moisture product, this is the Curl and Coconut hibiscus shine conditioner love this right here and I you can go to Ross guys and pick these products up I got this at Ross yeah so you I love going in there they have really good products I've and I've seen Shea Moisture products even in um Dollar General lately they picked up that line Shea Moisture so yeah you can find that at different places and get really good deals um as far as my leave-in conditioner I really like the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner by um Shea Moisture. So there it is here. This is really good for my hair. It helps um, stop breakage or anything. So this is what I've been using as far as a leave-in conditioner. Um, and, and we're going to move on to styling products. I still use, this is my go-to, has been for years, my Kinky Curly Cur Curling Custard. I'm still on the train with this. I've tried every other gel in the world it doesn't leave my hair sticky um, my curls are as you can see my hair is just not hard and today is wash day so I don't have the best hair day but um, I only use that once a week and then the rest of the week when I have to refresh my curls and you know with my water bottle this is what I use to refresh my curls with this is the Miss Jessie stretch silkening cream and it, has, it smells so good I, I'm not a really 
big fan of Miss Jessie products, but this is the only one, once I tried this one, this is the product that just does the job as far as like refreshing my curls. I love this, and this is a curl cream, so that's something different. But I use this maybe twice a week um, after I set it with the gel on wash day. Um, another thing that I've discovered, and I don't know guys, this right here is something that I picked up when I was doing a curly pool party in Orlando many years ago, you know, when you host events or you co-host, um, you actually get all these products and you go home with them and it's like, I don't think I ever used that. It's not for my hair at the time. I had just big chops. So, you know, the struggle is real when you big chop and you're trying to find your products. Um, it was the We Dot product. Here it is. This is the Climate the heat and humidity gel, the climate control line. And I, I've had a bunch of, I've got a lot of these still, but I used this one day and it says it controls frizz in all climates. And I don't know if because I'm in Southwest Florida now, but this right here gives my hair a shine. It is amazing. So I will switch up between this and the Kinky Curly Gel. Um, but yeah, I guess it depends on where you are too, because I didn't use that at all when I was back in Georgia. But the Wee Dot is really great. I love it. Now, um, the last product that I want to share, this is something that I use when I part my hair. Um, I use this um, Edge Tamer by Design Essentials. And yeah, you're probably familiar with this product as well. And it's a Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. And it really is nice. It says it gives it a firm hold. But I don't, I don't know. It's not really firm for me. It kind of keeps it soft for me. And I did put on, let's see, I have my hair parted today. I put on a little bit today. But it's not, you see, it kind of makes it look a little fine. It's not hard. It doesn't flake up or anything like that. But, yeah, I really like that as far as an um, edge tamer. I use it on my daughter's hair as well. But this is really, really good. All right, that concludes my best of beauty for 2016. I really hope that you guys um, picked up some ideas, some things you want to try. And um, I would like to know what your best of beauty products are. If you have a video, link it below and comment in the section. If you have some products that you really just love for 2016, I'd love to hear your selection. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your Saturday. Get out. Enjoy the sunshine. Wherever you are, make the best of your day. And until next time, I will see you guys next time. And have a great weekend. Have a wonderful week. Bye.